you gotta go see a tenant bomb. Oh, you gotta fix your little robots too. Sadly, I can't. They, 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 they just gotta go when they go, so Aww. hopefully when they go, they go in a blaze of glory and take someone with them. And what are you doing over there, trash can? Things are going weird. Okay, what the hell? I don't know. Well, okay. It, it's just... It, what? We can, we can blame it on maybe Adam and just say it's splicing me to see weird and crazy shit. Okay. Let's go with that lore, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Let's go see Tenenbaum. Okay. For this, but there Thank are others I must help before the city drowns. The wall claims this man them. Sinclair, he is an ally and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. Okay. And good luck. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. The walls claim them. The trash cans fly. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The oh. name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Sounds good. At least then I'll go into a place that where crazy trash cans and walls absorbing humans no longer exist. That's so strange. Yeah, it is. But it's a good thing though, all the enemies just poured out of this one gate so I could just use the drill and just turn them into ground beef. Yeah, that was really good. I'm also kind of terrified of this whole place because everything's just popping and flying and jumping. Oh. Man, Adam is just crazy, ain't it? Ooh, I still got a little robot friend at least. You smoking along? Yeah. Oh. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Yeah. Another question is, Tenenbaum then is actually pretty old. Or, it also depends on how long, you know, 
or it all depends on like the time frame because Ten or not Tenenbaum, but um, Lamb was around when Adam or when Ryan was still around or still alive. Yeah. So she still survived when I went to go kill him in the last game. Yeah. timeline frame, but still kind of curious about that. Okay, let's go on a ride. Whoa there, now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. Just want to reenact the Titanic? <laughs> As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Mm -hmm. Alright. I gotta get a ticket. Hello, do I get a ticket here? Where do I get a ticket? Oh, I can get some items here at least. I also like that guy's voice, it sounds really nice. Yeah. Sounds very southern. Yep, got that southern honeysuckle voice. Very good. He's a fine old dapper chap, I tell you what. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody want to meet with the folks there. Okay, nothing else over here, I see. There's nothing else hiding in there. Dude, good, good, good. All right. Let's go. Oh, what's this? This is the museum. New items at the city shop. Eat at El Dorado restaurant. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Short time. Was a journey to the surface. All of the future. Okay. Who's here? Who's doing what? Meal time. <laughs> step one, heat. Step two, eat. Oh, meal time, frozen dinners. Oh, look, TV dinners. <laughs> hey, TV dinners. Back in the 50s, 60s. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, right now, it's considered TV dinners. Yeah. Or. 68. Yeah, because TV dinners were like 1958. Better than cooking all the time, so I'm guessing that's the reason why people liked it. Just finally a time where you wouldn't have to be slaving away over a stove. Yeah. Eleanor is progressing mm -hmm. brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor, loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. Well, but well, I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her so. marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. You ain't no good at this. Why not? <laughs> wanted your gun. Why can't I have a gun? There you go. Yes, I understand now. I've been hitting the blue constantly. I know about the powers. I'm pretty damn good at it, okay? Take 
50 cow rounds. Hello. Well, if you're going to be giving me something with 50 cow, let's still find a way to go melt that ice there. <laughs> Scotch, just literally scotch on a museum. <laughs> That's definitely olden times. Yeah. Weirdest thing is, back in the day, I don't know what what year, but people literally could have road beers. Beer on the road? Yeah. Yeah. People were able to drink and drive. Yeah. That I think was in the 30s and 40s. Yeah. Literally something called a road beer. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Give me the potato chips. How exactly am I eating the food or drinking the food, too? That's what I'd like to know. You got a helmet on. Yeah. Is there like a vacuum tube that opens it up and then just sort of suctions it in? Hoovers it in? I guess. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. Oh boy. Well, right, let's go get the tickets. Hello. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Well, 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 he's definitely looking to make a buck or two. Ooh. Yes, all the weapons right there. Yeah, but I don't think you're allowed access to any of those. That one's glowing. That says I do. Ooh. Although, all the other ones, not allowed. I had those in the first game, not allowed in the second game. Ooh. Hey, I got a power to the people coming up, so... I will happily take those. I loved those back in the first game. Alright, give it to me. What do we upgrade? We got we got rivet gun damage, rivet clip size, rivet gun heat upgrade. You must have both previous upgrades before this is available. An infernal heating mechanism or internal heating mechanism heats rivets to a white hot temperature before they're fired. Oh, not bad. Uh, drill fuel efficiency, cooling nozzle lubricates the drill, reducing the speed of fuel consumption or Augers on the sides of the drill increase the damage. Damage increase applies to both drill spin and melee attack. Um, well, which would you prefer? Would you want me to use it on the drill, or would you want me to use it on the rivet gun? I'm kind of partial to the drill. You were thinking drill. Yeah, I was thinking of the drill. I mean, I could use either or. I oh, know. Go with the drill for the time being. Alright, fuel efficiency or damage? Efficiency. Efficiency, wow. How very un American of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I felt like throwing a jab there. That yeah, was a real loud. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. It was it was just something there. I know, something was just gonna go with it. It's just a knee jerk reaction, it was like pow! I was like, oh. I'm sorry, but that was still good. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. Yeah, you gotta watch out about that. And boop. And boop. 
I hacked it so that way then the door would open. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stealth mode activated. <laughs> Giant Delta clambering around. you in the park, but buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado lounge. Have a look. Mm-hmm. Go get the park. They grabbed the weapons. What's that? Take this! Oh, I'm all out of fuel. There you go. <laughs> Uppercut. <laughs> the worst possible time. I get the fuel efficiency thing and now it's gone. But I get myself a great big old machine gun. Although I can't get any of the other weapons. Fine, be that way. Although I'm guessing that's probably should have held off on the power to the people until I got this, but heck. Mm. This shoots 50 caliber rounds. I know, it's pretty cool. Coppers! Get yourself that's, hit! That's pretty Don't powerful. I know, it is. <laughs> yeah, like Desert Eagle shoots 50 cal rounds. And I'm just, I'm just letting loose with this stuff. <laughs> Sturdy are these people if they can survive that. I know. Alright, well at least I can go get more 50 caliber rounds. Definitely do that. And also a couple more first aid kits because you know me and bleeding. <laughs> yes. Boink. Alright, here's my ticket, sir. Although, I think we'll do that in the next one. Alright. I've been having a lot of fun there. I got myself now a machine gun that shoots 50 caliber rounds that seem to don't not really fire 50 caliber rounds if you catch my drift. They seem a little weak. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still nice. Yeah. Good old upgrades of sorts, so we'll figure out what we can do with it. But Rivet Gun, as well as also, yeah, it has to be Rivet Gun. <laughs> the only thing I got fuel or ammo on. Aww. We'll continue in the next one. Thanks for anyone watching. Have a good one, alright? See ya.